Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. You know, I think video game protagonists have a very unfortunate tendency of not realizing what a diary is supposed to be. And a diary is supposed to be a collection of notes, like all of them, not just like two scattered about. And really, why would you ever do that if you're about to drink a potion that makes you lose your memory? That just seems silly. So let's have a snoop around, see what's going on in this room. Can I pull the curtains open? That would be so sweet. But no, apparently... Apparently not. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contact will reign in for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm of House Garrick. I'm guessing since it was already, you know, laying there, I didn't break a seal, and I hope not, because I don't want this guy coming after me for whatever reason. That would be terrible. For the sake of lighting up the crossroads, I'll just light that candle there. Um, you know, no need to go crazy with it. Here's a piece of paper that I know apparently is not important. Nice and bright. It's amazing that they can make a compelling horror game set during the obvious daytime. What was that? Do I really want to know? Okay, well, let's take a look in the room real fast. Shirts. Cool, take the shirt. Oh, I'm definitely hearing footsteps. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Wow. Well, I guess this guy's used to uncomfortable situations. And I don't like this room. I'm gonna... Wow, that's the worst fireplace to ever exist. Alright, well, I guess I'll keep using my lantern. I'm definitely hearing footsteps off to the left, which means I need to walk to the right. Holy crap! What the? Oh my god, that was scary.
Okay, classical music not helping. Neither is something that doesn't want to open for a couple attempts. But at least I got more lantern, that's that's good. It's getting pretty predictable that they're hiding stuff in there. Um, okay. Pretty intense that one tinderbox can light all that, but whatever. So let's look around, see what's in here. Yeah, still can't open it. Um, so it looks like I came in here for nothing other than some supplies, which is cool. I like that. Alright, these lawn hallways are really uncool, and I don't really like them too much. I don't like the feeling that something might be behind me, and I'm getting that a whole lot. The door to the history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Well, probably. God knows it is a castle. Something about this room makes it seem like it should be nice and cozy, and it won't be. Maybe it's the piano? Yep, it's the piano. It's the piano. Oh my god. It was the piano. Come on, Cher. You're coming with me for a little bit. It's worth a shot. Nope, strong windows. I'm completely turned around. I just... Have I gone through this way? This is the beginning. Well, that's good to know, I guess, but... I'm com I mean, God, I hope nothing chases me through this area, because I'm completely turned around so easily in here. And it's weird, because it doesn't seem like it would be that, you know... It doesn't seem like it would be that, um... Confusing, but it kind of is once you're actually playing it. And we're gonna jog back here, put a little bit more oil in the lantern, and cry quietly to myself in a position where the microphone is away from my mouth and you can't hear it. 